Well, hello, YouTube. I'm Randy Lee, and I am making this video for uh, someone who does not know how to put music into their Windows Movie Maker files. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this person is using Windows XP or Windows Vista, but I'm using Windows XP, so this is how I'm going to do it. <clears throat> So today I'm going to show you how to put music into your Windows Movie Maker file. And yes, I've had a little bit of coffee today, so if you'll shut the fuck up, I'd really appreciate it. So here we go. You go to the Start button. Now you want to open Windows Movie Maker is what I'm trying to say. You want to open the Start button, you want to go to All Programs, and you want to go to Windows Movie Maker, which is right here. So just wait while it loads. I think I'll shoot myself if it doesn't load really fast. Oh, there it is! I was afraid I was going to have to go get my gun, but I don't think I'm going to have to do that anymore. Oh, thank God. Okay, anyways, as you see here, you've got your collections, you've got your all your bullshit, your video effects, your video transmissions, all that stuff. Capture from video device, import video, import make sure, blah, 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 who gives a shit? Now, what we want to do is we want to import the movie clips and um, the, 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 the music file into Windows Movie Maker. So let's do that now, shall we? Here's here's our uh, collection of things. We, we got a video file, we got a music file. As you, you can tell, the song is really, really gay. Of course, you've already seen my desktop background, so that's pretty much giving it away. <laughs> okay, anyways, so we're gonna... Now, as you can see here, the sh you've got a shitty little timeline here that just shows pictures, 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 pictures. It's a bunch of bullshit. So what you want to do is you want to click show timeline. It's going to show you a more advanced way to uh, edit the video, and that's much, much better. Um... I don't know if that's big enough. Oh, I forgot here. You can click on this little button right here, and what it'll do, it'll expand it so it shows the uh, video, uh, the audio on the video track as well. So now let's go ahead and let's put the, um, the, the files into it as Movie Maker. But first, you're not going to drag them in there. I don't think I would drag them in there. I haven't used this for a long time. So let's just drag them into collections. Drag them into collections. And no, that hasn't disappeared. The, 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 the music file is actually in collections. So let's go back to this. We have the video right here. What you want to do, you want to drag and drop it like you did the files right onto the timeline. And that will show up. And here you go. <laughs> now, as I like to do it, I like to make things as annoying as humanly possible. You can zoom in, you can do whatever you want to do with this. Uh, where does this start? Oh shit, what did me to do that? <laughs> <laughs> That works for me. So I'm going to trim that down. What I'm going to do is before I insert the music file is I'm going to copy and paste this a bunch of times um, just to annoy the shit out of you. Hold on just a moment as I can commence the annoyance. Okay, we've got one minute and twenty minute, uh, one minute and twenty seconds worth of looping. So let's go up here to the collections and let's go back to the collections. And here we have our music file. What you want to do is you want to click and hold the mouse button and you want to drag it over here into the audio uh, slash music thing. And what it will do here is it will uh, show up. It'll build the peaks here. It's going to build the peaks. Just a moment. I don't think it actually. Oh, it builds the peaks. <laughs> Yes, it builds the peaks. Uh, and you can also adjust the volume here. You can just go blah, 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 but I'm not going to adjust the volume. Um, I actually want to adjust the volume on these. Just a minute. I don't think I can. No, you can't adjust volumes for multiple objects. You're gonna. Have, I'd have to uh, delete that and uh, adjust the volume on it, but who cares? Now you've got your music here, so let's hear, hear how it sounds. <laughs> Now, if you want to go back to Storyboard, you can see here you've got a bunch of copies of movie clips. You can rename these, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Let me check. Oh, you can fade in. Let's fade in and then fade out sometimes. How about that shit? We can also add video effects to one of these. I want to add a video effect. Let's see. Which what, which video effect should I add? Hmm. Should we ease in, ease out, fade out, film grain, grayscale, polarize, pixelate would be nice. I would like to pixelate. <laughs> so let's try that again. Let's replay that. I want to see that. From the beginning. Uh -huh. So that is how you drag and drop your shit into Windows Movie Maker. Uh, I don't know if you're using Windows XP, if you're using Windows Vista, this is w Windows XP, and I have to go now because I am probably going to crash from this caffeine overdose. <laughs> so thanks for watching so much, and I appreciate it. You have a fantastic day. Oh my god, I gotta go, and I gotta pee too. I'm gonna pee my pants. Oh my god, go!